Hi, this is Frida. <laughs> You're going to say, what is she doing? Okay. I wanted to show you, this is how I wash my dishes and put them on these towels that you pay a fortune for. And then later on, they turn ugly because they're acrylic, right? So I thought to myself, why don't I crochet a towel? Yeah, and I found these gorgeous uh, cotton yarns in my stash. So I thought, let's do it. So I just wanted to share you this because I do have a, wash, a dishwasher machine here and it's one of the best ones. It's the Mal. I really love it. It's quiet. The reason we paid a fortune for it <laughs> to compare to others because it's quiet. My husband, he works at night and then um, during the day if I needed to wash it, it would be quiet. Now we're looking for a quiet washer machine. <laughs> I usually wash it when he's not home. But yeah, I just wanted to share you this because um, these are acrylic, right? They're not cotton. And cotton absorbs. If you look in my kitchen, I have a little trash bin here that I put under my... Uh, these are one of my crocheted. They're cotton. And uh, I have my pumpkin on my cotton. I use cotton in the kitchen. Just wanted to show you. And it picks up the water easily. See, I have cotton everywhere. <laughs> I just wanted to share you that. And, um, yeah, and here I have cotton here. See? And it doesn't mark the, the vinyl. So, for this tutorial, I'm, I am going to be showing you how to do, how to crochet, crochet a, uh, what you call it, a, a towel to put your, uh, to put your stuff on. Because um, we don't have that many, like, it's only three of us that live in the house. Me, me, my husband, and my son. We only have one child. So we don't have that many dishes. And if we do, we put it in the dishwasher, of course. But right now, like, I only have these. And uh, I'll wash it. And I'll put it and air dry it. And then, you know, I have my towels inside here. Just grab these towels. And then uh, dry them and put them away. Like I don't want them to sit for hours. And um, I put them in the washer with hot water to to, san to uh, have them sanitized with vinegar. And <clears throat> so I just wanted to share that the yarn that I'm going to use is 100% cotton. You can double strand with regular uh, lily, lily. What's it called? The lily cotton yarn or uh, burnet cotton. You can double strand them. You need, you need to have it bulky, right? And uh, the stitch that I'm going to be using is called the waffle stitch. I love that stitch. So let's get started and uh, I'll go upstairs and show you the yarn. Okay, so this is the yarn that I have found in my uh, clear containers while I was trying to do the giveaway. Okay, so far I have seven winners, just to let you know. I should have taped a but I keep on uh, drawing more people who have commented on the giveaway for my 20,000 subscribers. I just hit my 19,000 subscribers, so that's pretty good. Okay, and uh, just to let you know if you're watching this uh, video, I will doing another giveaway next year in 2019. And I will post the video then, but... If you haven't subscribed, jump in, subscribe, comment <laughs> on my uh, videos, <laughs> my tutorials. Okay, anyways, I'll skip this part. It's too much, too many information. But uh, I'm going to be doing another giveaway, a big giveaway again. Okay, so I found these uh, cotton yarn. They're 100% cotton and they're pretty bulky, as you can see. So I thought this would be great for my... Uh, to put my uh, dishes on to dry them because they're cotton they absorb and I can well, put them in my washer hot 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 to get it sanitized so uh, I'm going to start I'm just gonna use about I measured the cloth and they're pretty like not that wide enough so I'm gonna make it wider I'm gonna use use all this yarn that I have so let's get started okay so I have I have done the chainless foundation chain without chaining. I just did it. I, I will put the links below on how to 
crochet the waffle stitch and I, I uh, show you how to do the chainless uh, foundation chain. It's elasticy. Okay, if you don't want to do that, you can skip it and chain as long as you want. So I just wanted to chain because my mat, I put them in the washer to have them sanitized anyways. <laughs> so it was like this. So I did extra and I'm going to do the border around it and uh, just use my judgment. So I'm tr trying to finish all the yarn that I have. But uh, this is how I did it. I, you can chain as long as you want to have it on to put it on your cup cupboard here and um, yeah so 16 16 is enough for me because I don't want it any more longer um, well it depends we'll see but I just want this wideness the wideness is okay for me because later on I'm going to do the border I'm just going to do edges around and it's going to get longer probably but so far this is how I want it and I'm going to start the waffle stitch and if you want to skip this again I'm sorry I, I think I skipped it you just chain as long as you want and you do double crochet in each chain you chain three to go up and then you do double crochets in each chain and then this is how it's done and we're going to start the waffle stitch just to show you so it's going to be covering and it's pretty thick yeah okay I went ahead and I crocheted and I forgot to show you guys but I will put the link I already did a tutorial on how to knit how to crochet the waffle stitch so um, this is how it looks like when you show it it's bulky I love it and it's soft I'm sure when you wash it this is going to get it's going to shrink and the holes will be closed but this is how it looks like when you can you see the 3d 3d look this is the front of it and this is the back so I will put the link on how to do the foundation and how to do foundation uh, chainless how stretchy this is I love it and then uh, the first row what I did is I chain three I went up I did a sing uh, dub uh, double crochet here and I did a front loop here and I did a single crochet, another sing. Uh, I'm sorry, double crochet and a double crochet to the next one. And I did a front loop, so two double crochets, and then front loop. I will put the link so uh, if you get confused. But it this yeah with this bulky cotton yarn, it's turning up pretty good. And I think this would be perfect to put my uh, dishes on top of it. Yeah. It's soft too. So I'm on the second row and what I did is I chained three. I did a double crochet. I did a front loop on the uh, on the on top of the double crochet. And I did a front loop again. Front post. I'm sorry. I keep on saying that. So here I'm going to do a going to do a double crochet. And on top, these are heading towards us. I'm going to do a front post just like this. And do a double crochet. Go between from here. You do a loop. Then you go between just like this. And uh, you do one double crochet to the these two V's here. And then you do a to front post on the following two double crochets. So I'm going to crochet all the how much yarn I have and then we'll go from there but I would highly recommend for if you have yarn like this left over and you have bulky yarn. I know that Bernard has those uh, huge bulky yarns and uh, they're pretty thick. You can use those too if you have them left over and uh, you don't have to use the waffle stitch to the uh, waffle stitch 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 <laughs> sorry waffle stitch to make uh, the um, let me find that where I got the inspiration dish dryer mat to make it 
Okay, it was one of the groups that I have seen. Okay, <laughs> so I finished. I used up all the yarn that I had and I even had a chance to do the border. And I will put the links on how to crochet the edge. These, this is my famous edging that I do on most of my projects. And uh, this is how it turned out. It turned out just perfect for my uh, dishes that I can put put them on and have them dry. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty huge. And this is the back. It's just a regular waffle stitch. You don't have to crochet a waffle stitch to make your dish uh, uh, dryer dish mat. You can use anything you want. You can crochet any stitch you want, but I thought this would be appropriate. And it looks like great. Just wanted to share you this lovely uh, idea that I, that came to my mind. And I just love it how it turned out. I hope you like this little uh, that I had in my mind. And uh, happy crocheting! <laughs>